we are here with Denise Crosby. And Denise, for folks out there that may uh, recognize you, you're most famous for your work on uh, Star Trek The Next Generation uh, as... Tasha Yar. <laughs> And also, you've actually been involved in a lot of other projects. You started on uh, Days of Our Lives, uh, the soap, uh, the, or is that? Wow. Am I right with my research? You have been, what, what's uh, in there? I've, got a, I've got a little uh, earpiece, <laughs> and I've got somebody on Wikipedia right now doing the research off, off camera. Right. But, I, I mean, when we come out and do interviews, we want to we wanna really know about the actors that we're uh, talking to. And so, um, uh, so anyways, uh, yes, wow. your, your, your experience as an actress on a soap opera, um, yeah. Was that your first uh, professional acting experience? Um. I believe it certainly was one of the first, um, although I think I got my SAG card, if I'm not mistaken, in a Blake, from a Blake Edwards movie oh, called nice. Ten, which okay. he reshot for the um, PG version. Okay. So he had to take all the nudity out and then made me kind of the PG rated um, like girlfriend next door okay. and um, I got my union card Wonderful. so you didn't know that come I on, that. Come yeah, on. I know. My, I'm gonna fire that uh, that, that researcher yeah. anyways um, so um, Denise I mean it's we're here at uh, Anaheim Wizard World and there's hundreds if not thousands of people here um, what's do you have a lot of fans coming up and, and just showing love and 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 uh, recognizing you for your work and wh what's that like as an actress to have people come up and sort of talk to you and uh, express their admiration it's 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 incredible because you know you're you're so separated from from anything you're doing unless you're doing live theater you know you're you're you don't have contact with an audience so um, you don't it's always so touching when somebody is, is is deeply moved by anything you do or you know it resonated with them in some way so it's 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 really fun and you know it's it's this is unique I mean this is just I don't know how to describe this this yeah. is a world unto itself well I mean just being here and doing various interviews I mean people are walking around with big smiles on their faces I mean it's just nothing but love here no uh, people are very well behaved very appreciative and it, it's a really great atmosphere I think I, I'd imagine as an actress to be here um, that that you would probably share that sentiment absolutely I mean um, you know, uh, once I once I did Star Trek and and was um, sort of this this world opened itself yeah. to me. I, I realized that the fans are, um, you know, really really unique and special and so embracing and so supportive and loyal, you know, to you as an artist. So um, I'm always happy to, to to come out and and say hi and and you know keep keep it all going. Yeah. Yeah. Star Trek fans, I think Star Trek fans are the most iconic of fandom. I mean, when you think of science fiction fans, Trekkies, yes. and, I, and I know you were in the Trekkies movie. I, I read that, I, I believe. Produced it. Produced yeah, it? Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're very acquainted. You're, you're probably, you probably have a PhD in uh, fandom, actually, based on all of your research. You know, there um, should be a cat There should be a degree one could get. Yeah, I could finally be a doctor yeah. in my, uh, you know, doctor of fandom. Yar. See, Dr. forget Yar. forget Crusher, Dr. Yar. That's where it's at right there. Um, and speaking of uh, the iconic character of Tasha Yar, um, do you have fans coming up just saying that you know there was something about that character that they really identified with, like uh, maybe female fans that felt like that was a really strong character, or uh, male fans who maybe um, had a big crush on on Tasha? Uh, is that what's your what are some of the stories you hear from fans when they came come up? Uh, you know. Most of the time, it's it's to do with with um, girls that feel empowered by the character. Um, they got a lot of strength from her. She overcame adversities and you know rose to uh, the top of her profession, even though with some some uh, ha being handicapped in certain ways in her life. Um, so that that was that's always the most um, moving. Certainly, I get a lot of guys that come up and say, oh, "You were my first crush." Or oh. when I was little, I used to watch you. Oh, that okay. that that's okay. really great to hear. Okay. Um, okay. But no, I, that that's so. It makes me me, you know, feel so Wonderful. sweet. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Oh, actually, I have one other co question too. Uh, my researcher also indicated that you were also the uh, granddaughter of Bing Crosby. Is that oh. is that true or is that a rumor? Or? <laughs> <laughs> yes, or is that piece in and your ear? Yes, um, yes, yes, okay. I am. Uh huh. Okay. And, and, yeah. And, uh, so, so to be from a family of, of such wonderful performers, uh, you've got um, good, uh, good, strong genes, stock. Yes. Genes. Well, 
um, yes. and my grandmother was was an actress and singer. Um, his first wife, Dixie Lee, and you know what's really great is a gentleman came up to me, um, one of the dads of one of the guests here, Claudia Christian's father, um, who went to school with my dad, oh, wow. and um, his brothers. So she he gave me all these great uh, old photos of wow. them in um, in parochial school, in military wow. school when wow. they were kids. Wow. That's yeah, special. yeah, special. it's pretty cool. That's well, thank you so much for your time, and we wish you the best of luck. And is there a website or anything people can check you out some of your work? Or yeah, yeah. Um, why don't you uh, go to denisecrosby.net? Okay. Um, there's, a, you know, I keep track of stuff, okay. and check it out. Okay, wonderful. All right. Well, thank you, Denise. Thanks for your time. Thank you.